Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a marker tutorial on a cartoon. Um, the materials we're going to be using today are a pencil, any kind will do, an eraser, again any kind that's your favorite, a sharpie if you have it, if you don't, don't worry, we can use a black marker instead. And the colors we will be using for our markers are red, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, brown, and if you don't have the Sharpie, you're going to want your black marker as well. I like to have a sharpener handy in case I need it to sharpen my pencil. And I also need a circle stencil. You can use any circle around your house. This is just the cap to a medicine bottle. It's the perfect size for what I need. And to make the frame of my drawing, I'm going to use a envelope of some junk mail. Doesn't matter what it is. It's just so that you can get this nice rectangular frame for your drawing. To start with Pikachu, you always want to start with a circle to make his head. So I'm put my circle down about in the middle of the page and trace it. Try and press lightly. The lighter you work, the easier it will be to erase mistakes and make changes later. All right, we have a circle. Now we want to create a line that comes down the center and kind of curves down a little bit. And about half the line is going to be inside Pikachu's head and the other half is going to come down below Pikachu. That's going to be his midline of his body. Next we're going to put in some arm midlines. These are just lines that are going to show us where his arm are going to, arms are going to be. This arm is tilting up. This one's also going to tilt up and get a little closer to his face as it comes up. All right, next we're going to put in his ears. So that's very much part of Pikachu there. And it's okay if you go off the page. That's fine. And remember, if you make mistakes, you can use your eraser to fix them, no problem. This ear is going to tilt up a bit more. And we need to change the shape of his face because Pikachu's face is not perfectly round. So the way you do that is you curve in just a teeny bit right below the ear. Same thing on this side, curve in just a teeny bit, and then this is going to come out, round out, and then you have his cheeks. And the part that you're going to erase is the outer edge of the circle there. Okay. So we have Pikachu's general head shape in there. We're also going to put in an eye line. Because he's kind of looking up in this picture, the eye line's going to be above midway and it's going to curve up just slightly. We can already put his mouth in too because that's going to come right up here, come to a peak on the midline, come back down. Two little curves up, up like that. So we already have mouth, ears, head, and the midlines for the body. Let's do a little bit more on the body. So we want his arms to be a little thicker. Pikachu's pretty thick. <laughs> We're going to give him his fingers here, which he has four of total. And then his arm comes down. It's pretty wide, too. Same thing on this side, although you see less of the arm because it's kind of hidden by the head. Two, three, four. And again, getting a little wider as it comes towards the body. Now we're going to give him his little body. And that's kind of coming down, drooping around, and doing the same thing on this side, coming down and drooping around. All right, because we have the body now, I'm going to go ahead and take away these midlines because we don't need them anymore. It's okay if it doesn't look perfect or it's a little more of a chonk. Pikachu or a little skinnier Pikachu or a taller Pikachu. It can be your version of Pikachu. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, we're going to get some feet in there. Just little kind of round feet there. He's got this foot that comes down here. 
almost to the bottom of the page. And then underneath, he's got just the bottom there connecting his feet. All right. And next, we're going to do the tips of his ears like that. And for my Pikachu, I'm actually going to give him sunglasses because of the plan I have for this picture. So instead of drawing his eyes, which would normally be right about here, I'm going to make them little ghost eyes. Instead of that, his eyes are very wide. <laughs> I'm going to try and do some sunglasses instead. So we'll come around below, up on the bridge of the nose, right there where the lines meet. Come back down and come over here and go all the way up to there and then you can just go straight across for some sunglasses. Don't need those eyeballs anymore or anything else that's inside the sunglasses because they will be black. So we can erase that. Let's go ahead and erase the midline. We don't really need that anymore either. If you erase your midline and it erases a part that you want to keep, just go back and put it right back in there. Pikachu's nose is super tiny. It's basically a super teeny tiny triangle. You can just fit it right in there. And we want to erase some of the bottom of his chin where it connects to his body. And we're going to give him an open mouth. He usually has this big, huge smile that I really like. So that curves way down, comes back up to the top, and then his tongue is right about there. And another part that's very Pikachu are his cheek circles. So make sure we get those in there again really light with your pencil. Now that I'm looking at it, I feel like this side of his head is too wide. It's much wider than this side of his head. So I'm going to make a quick adjustment and bring it in. Just tracing the same line contour as before, but a little smaller. And you can always make those adjustments as you go, no problem. Alright, connect the arm where it's missing. And the only thing missing is Pikachu's tail, of course. He's got his awesome lightning tail, so we got to get that going on. That's going to come out the side of his body like this, zigzag up towards the arm, zigzag out, zigzag up again, then it'll shoot out to the side like that, give it a little angle, come back in about there, down about there, and then we can just come right out. Mm, I think I might adjust this a little, how about like there and then I can erase these lines where I went over all right almost got everything I think we just need some toes and hmm anything else the marking on his tail he's got this little dark spot on the bottom that you do like a zigzag right there on the bottom section that's going to be the same color as the tip of his ears. All right, so that is the Pikachu pencil drawing. I want to put him in a setting. So that means I want to make it look like he's somewhere else, not just floating in space like this. So the idea that I'm going to do is a desert island, like he's social distancing really well and he gets to go on vacation. So we want to have the island coming up behind him like that. It'll curve over, continue up here, and then, so it really looks like he's on vacation, let's have give him a coconut drink to drink in his hand here. So we can just do a little circle like this. And on the top can be another little, the top of the coconut. Because that coconut is in front of his hand and his tail, we can erase anything that's inside the coconut. And then we're going to mark off, this is going to be the edge that marks the difference between the brown part of the coconut 
that's the outside and the white part which is the inside and we're also going to give him a straw but don't worry it's a metal straw you know he's he's all about the environment Pikachu all right he's got his coconut juice he's so happy let's do a little bit more in the background make it a little bit more interesting I'm thinking he's got a coconut so let's give him a palm tree where he got those coconuts I'm working from a picture of a palm tree. I just googled cartoon palm tree and used the reference that I really liked and I'm just gonna copy that basically. We're gonna have the palm tree trunk coming in let's do right about here. You want to cross over where the island is so that it looks like it's on the island. It's growing out of the island. And then we can erase the line that's inside there. Give it a little bump here where it's growing out of the sand. And palm trees have these curved lines in them a lot. So we'll do a few of those. So this is the trunk coming up and kind of behind his ear, it's gonna turn into the rest of the tree, which is the palm fronds. Those are the big leaves. And we'll do one more coconut in there as well. All right, so for the fronds, we want a nice curvy line that shoots off and disappears off the page. Got a different one here. Same thing, coming in like that. I like to put little triangle notches in there, make them look more like a palm tree. Because I have those notches, I'm going to erase the bottom of those notches. And go back in and fill that in. And we've got another palm frond coming up here. And curving up here. I'm going to have a big one that's going to come up like this and kind of curve up out of the frame and then come back down into the frame right about there. And then we'll come back in like that. And remember we got to put our notches in there so we'll do a notch. Let's do a notch there and a notch there. And again erase the bottom of the notches so they look like notches. Okay. Good. We want one. I'm going to put one coconut in here so it looks like he picked one of the coconuts and he's drinking one of the ones that he picked out of the tree. So we only need to draw one coconut up here in the tree. Just a circle. Erase any lines that are inside the circle. And we'll do another palm frond here. And coming in like that. This guy's going to kind of come out and around and really dip down pretty far. This is a big one here. So right there and there and in there. It'll end up about there. This one's going to be a little guy that you're not really going to see. He kind of disappears behind Pikachu, so don't worry about that too much. There we go. Clean that up just a little bit. Okay, and our notch is notch here. Let's do a notch here. erase the bottom of the notch again. Okay, so we've got our palm tree, party Pikachu on his island. I'm liking it. I want to look and see if there's anything I want to change. I'm going to erase where the ears attach to the head. And all right, I think we've got it. Okay, so now you're done with the drawing phase. At this point, if you have a Sharpie, we're going to be tracing all the lines in Sharpie. If you do not have a Sharpie, hold off on that for now, because if you don't have a Sharpie, you actually want to do the black outline last so that it doesn't bleed into your other colors. Sharpies won't bleed, so you can put them in first. All right. So go slow, don't worry about mistakes. It doesn't have to be perfect, like always. Just do your best.
At this point, you can color in any parts that are black that will stay black. So that's going to be the tips of his ears, the base of his tail, and his sunglasses. And what I like to do is make a little shine in the sunglasses. And how I do that is two diagonal lines over there, two diagonal lines over there, and then we're going to color in the top there, bottom there, and leave those as our shine spots. We can adjust them if we need to, and color all around those shine spots. Okay, we'll make this one a little skinnier. All right, okay, we have all our outline done. So, if you'll notice, some of the things I did not outline. I did not outline the cheek circles, the tongue, and the details on his coconut juice. I did that because those are a little high detail, and if I outlined them, they would stand out too much. So instead, I'm going to use color later on to make those stand out. Really quick, if you see any parts where there's pencil peeking out, you can just erase right on top. Don't erase those pencils that you need later, though, the cheek circles and the tongue. Mm, that's just to clean it up a little. Okay, now we are ready for color, and we always want to start with the brightest color first because if we try and use the bright color when we've already used dark colors, sometimes it'll pick up those dark colors and it'll taint the marker, it'll turn the marker dark, and then it'll spread those colors everywhere, and you just don't want that to happen. You can see there's a little bit of that happening already on here, so really quick, I'm going to take my little tracer and just test it to make sure that it's clean yellow. All right, that looks pretty clean. I'm not worried. All right, so we're gonna do yellow on Pikachu and yellow on the beach that Pikachu is on. Well, I'm gonna start on Pikachu and try to avoid the Sharpie. It mostly doesn't pick up Sharpie, but sometimes it will pick it up a little bit. So try to avoid it if you can. So I've got the yellow on Pikachu and on the beach. As I'm looking at this and thinking about the colors I'm going to use, I think I want to add one more thing that's also going to be yellow, and that's going to be a sun in the background. So I'm going to use my circle stencil again, only trace it where it's poking out between the palm fronds. So you don't want to trace it when it goes into the palm frond. All right. Oh, got a little jagged there. Fix that. And there. Okay. Now we get our sharpie back. And sharpie the sun. Right, we've got all our yellows done. Our next brightest color that we're going to put in is going to be our orange. Orange, I'm only going to use orange for the tree trunk and for a little shadow underneath Pikachu so that he's not the same exact color as the beach he's standing on. That'll make it look a little more interesting and make it look like he's casting a shadow because it's such a bright day. And now the shadow underneath. So this is called a drop shadow. And basically all you're doing is tracing right underneath along the line that his feet and his the bottom of his body make. And you can just disappear it off the edge like that. Fill it in. And then I want to give his tail a shadow too. That'll help the tail stand out and make it a little more interesting in this area. So again, I'm going to just come out and kind of trace 
the zigzag of the tail but I'm gonna make it shorter and skinnier than the tail because that's kind of what happens with shadows shadow awesome that's gonna be it for the orange no more orange for now all right next lightest color we've got pink pink only shows up once in a really tiny part of this drawing so if you don't have pink you can basically use red or if you have a pink color pencil or a pink crayon you can use that too we are only using the pink for the tongue And then we can go into red. Let's do the red cheeks first because I want to let the tongue dry a little bit before I use the red above it so that they don't just blend into each other. All right, here's our red cheeks. One red cheek, two red cheeks. And now let's see if we can get the back of the mouth in there. This I might go over a couple times to make it extra dark so that you can see the difference between the pink tongue and the red inside the mouth. Okay, next brightest color. Let's do our green. That's obviously going to be on the palm fronds, just the palm fronds. Green is a color, while well, you will notice when you pick it up, it leaves a little puddle. we have all the palm fronds all right now next color is going to be blue there's a lot of blue and because we're going to be working on this side I'm going to use a trick that's a really good trick to use if you're drawing or coloring and your hand is going to be resting on what you've already drawn or colored sometimes it can smudge it so a really good technique is to mask it with your hand I'm going to rest my hand on the mask and that way it won't smudge all the work that I already did. All right, so we're going to do the sky all blue. That's it for blue and we're on our last color unless like I said you didn't use Sharpie in which case black will be your last color and you will do the outline after everything else is done and your drawing is completely dry so that it doesn't smudge. We've got our brown coconuts And remember, we want to go along the zigzag that separates the brown from the white part of the coconut. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to do is get my pencil again and just outline the straw so that it stands out a little bit more. And that it looks like a metal straw if it's got a little bit of pencil on there too. Okay. All right, now I want to check and see if there's any white spots that I want to fill in or any shadows I want to add. I do think just to make this make a little bit more sense right here, I'm going to continue the body shadow up behind Pikachu a little bit so that you can really tell the difference between his tail and the beach that he's on, enjoying himself. Okay. All right. All right. 
There we go. We've got Pikachu on a beach enjoying his coconut milk. If you want to make it super fancy, we can put in a Sharpie border. Go ahead and do that with your envelope or your ruler. And get a nice straight line. You always want to push it right up against the edge of the envelope. Do a little bit of a touch up right there. And we are all done. That is your cartoon Pikachu. Pretty straightforward. I'm not doing too much shading on this one just to keep it simple. This is what's called pop art. It's very simple. It's very fun. It's very colorful. A lot of the art that you saw on the Clarion Alley mural walk is this kind of art. It's pop art. So it works a lot with outlines broad colors and really bright colors that jump out and grab you and get you excited.